Hello guys, what is up or what is going on? It's your girl Evie here. We're gonna have a cool video today, okay? So, as you guys saw in my what I got for Christmas video, I got some Sephora lip stains that look like this. Okay, so I thought it would be cool if we together as the family that we are, you know, check them out and see how they work. In case they were to be fantastic and phenomenal, you guys know where to go and if they're worth the money. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and swatch these colors and see how they look in our hands before we get started, okay? So let's go ahead and take the first color out. It looks like this. It's the shade number 73. First color down. So the next shade is number 79. So we are going to do that. Next color is number six and it looks like this. All right. Yes. And then you have the other one here that looks like a very darkish grape. It's so pigmented. They all smell the same, to be honest with you. All right, let's go ahead and do that right there. It's very, very dark. Other one here, it's number 23. So let's watch that one. They're very nice shades, honestly. The last one here that is number one, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the very last one. Right there. There we go. So those are all the swatches here, and those are the colors we're gonna be testing out today on our lips. So keep on watching. So we're gonna start off with the color 73 and it looks like this and we're gonna swatch some colors, okay? So let's see. It kind of smells good though. I don't know why that was my first instinct to smell it but I'm just used to it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and swatch this. Ooh, look at that color. It's like a salmon color. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. So let's go ahead and try that on our lips and I forgot a mirror. So the swatch is right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Our lips here. Oh. See, I'm telling you, this color does not complement my skin tone at all. And it's so pretty, I wish I could wear it, but this is horrible. This is terrible. <laughs> All right, so when you first put it on, it is a little bit wet, but as it sits on your, on your lips, it does get a little bit more matte. Um, let me just take that swatch off. All right. We'll see if I can get close to you guys so you guys can see. And um, of course, it's, it's not really lined up very nice, but oh, that looks terrible. I mean, the application, wow. See, I feel that now that it's dried up, I can't even like do that, you know? I feel like my, my lips are just getting stuck together. But, um,. So when you first put it in, it's like kind of a very thin layer and it kind of dries off and it's very thin. You can barely see anything um, on there. And it does dry really fast. It dries up really fast. So I do think that it won't transfer. So see like the bottom is already dry, but it's not like the matte lipsticks that you try and they like, they just get so dried up in your skin, the, I mean in your lips, that it just looks so chapped. This one kind of just mattifies with time a little bit. Now wait, I look so weird, because I look like I have a tan right now, and I don't know why, but it looks like I really do have a tan. And, okay, so it's been a few minutes, probably like 10 minutes since I had this on, and uh, I mean, um, 
I think if I was lighter skin, it would look much better than this. Um, I like the fact that it doesn't transfer and it's, it's dried up in my in my lips, but um, it's like breaking apart a little bit. But we're gonna take this off and see how long it takes. Actually, let me do it on camera so you guys can see how, if it's annoying to take off or not. So let's go ahead and swipe. Not, not as bad. I've had worse lip stains that are annoying to take off. Okay, this one you just kind of have to press on your lips a little bit. A little, like really hard actually. It feels like, have you guys ever done like a clay mask and it, some of it gets on your lips? Yeah, it feels like a clay mask is on your lips. Like a light clay mask, not like super, you know, strong, but it kind of has the same feeling. All right, now it's being annoying. I'm gonna go through a lot of these wipes. So if by the end of this video, my makeup is like off on the lips, I mean, you guys, you guys are watching me struggle. So. so we're gonna go ahead and try the next colors. And for these, I'm just gonna try them on let them dry a little bit and then just go through all the colors just so that you guys can see how they look on my skin tone if you guys are my skin tone and if not then I mean still you guys are gonna see if they, these are true colors I mean this it, this one did show exactly the same color it did not oxidize it didn't get lighter it was legit that color on my you know on my lips but I don't want this video to be super super long so we're gonna go ahead and just try them on and I'll show you guys and we'll move on this is the color that I said that I thought I was gonna like on my skin tone so let's see if I'm right about this let's see I think this one smells the same as like the other one so I think they're all gonna smell the same it doesn't smell bad oh okay This is how this color looks. It's pretty nice. I think I like this color much better on me. I really do. All right, we're gonna move on to the next color here, guys. So this one is shade number six. So we're gonna try this on. Oh, I like how this looks so much better on me. In the camera, anyway. This one's not so like, boom, pop out there. It's a little bit more subtle. It goes a little bit more of my skin tone. I think I definitely will use this one again. The other one too, I think I will. Like just the first one I'm a little scared to use because it's too bright for my skin tone. All right, next shade is gonna be uh, 99. And look here. Wow, that looks like, it's very dark. Okay, so honestly, I don't hate it. I really, actually really like it. So for one, like, I don't know, maybe like a date night, this is a very like sexy color in my opinion. Um, it's just very like, you know, out there. So and it looks very kind of like dark on like the screen or whatever, but and a real person, it looks very purple. It looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like the roses when they have, you know, dried up that color. That's what it looks like. It looks like dried up roses. It doesn't look bad, I, I kind of like it. All right, moving on here. Next color is gonna be 23. And it looks like this. I guess it's another purplish reddish one but this one's very subtle so i look very yellow i oh it's okay all right all right let's see how this one looks this one looks a little bit like the shade of my lips but like maybe two shades darker Alright, so that's how it looks right there. And I think that definitely for this um for these lip stains you need to like 
make sure you're being super precise to use the applicator to line your lips up or use like a brush to like line them because if you do not line them up like you end up looking crazy oh god I don't know how I got someone there but anyway this is how this one looks and it literally just dried already this one's pretty good just swatch it for you I forgot to swatch it so this is so now actually it looks pretty much the same tone yeah I think it looks about the same you guys I think I just invented something really really smart so I was having a lot of you know, I was having to do a lot of scrubbing in my lips to take the lip stains off. But um, I decided to go get me the micellar water and then put some on the makeup wipe. And it's really, I just went like this and he like took it off. So I'm so excited. So this is something you guys should try if you guys have any lip stains. And y'all are literally fighting so hard to take it off. Just put some micellar water on uh, a low cotton pad if you want. Um, but I think the combination of this being the wet wipe and then putting something else like the micellar water on it, since it's a little bit greasy, kind of takes it off. Okay, so this one is the shade one. Very red. So this is how the red one looks. Honestly, uh, this is this is a really nice color, and I like this red on me. It looks really nice, and I think I definitely will use it for like a night out or something. So, if, uh, my friends are watching, you know, where you want to go? Let's go somewhere. Yes. Yes, I think this color complements my tone very much. It really does. And I do, I do like it a lot, but I definitely will be using them because I do like them. Because they do not transfer. Like I said, they they do not like... They don't transfer at all. See? Like, lip stain. I mean, I guess it's what it's supposed to do. But I like the consistency, I guess I would say. Because it does come out very, like... It lies on very smooth. And, um... And it dries up pretty fast so you just have to be very because they're very pigmented all of the colors were very pigmented which are really pretty colors i really did like them so i wanted to see um how much this thing was and i couldn't find it online i couldn't find it on i could not find it on sephora but i did find the pack in amazon for 41.99 for the six pack i cannot find it on um Sephora the actual website, but I did find like literally just a single one the red one that I just put on the actual single little thing It's $14 and so It does have a lot of like good reviews actually it has out of 8655 reviews it has four and a half stars, which is really good oh. also um, I did get permission from the one who gave it to me to review this product. She gave me the idea. She told me that if I was going to do a review on them that, you know, I was welcome to. And I was able to do my honest opinion, you know, and I didn't have to. But honestly, I do like them. I did. It's just that one color right here that does not work for my skin tone. But other than that, the consistency is still the same. I think it would work great on another skin tone besides mine. But anyway, um, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And and don't forget to comment like subscribe and thank you guys for watching my video i hope you have a wonderful day bye bye